Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here at Jaws Podiatry. Young gentleman who has presented to our office today, multiple chief complaints, including also very long toenails. His nails grow really fast apparently. So people might think that he hasn't trimmed his toenails in six months. That is not the case. I can't imagine what six months would look like. Uh, but nonetheless, let's, let's take a look. Let's get this cat out of the bag quickly. Let's just put him kind of like that, right? Okay. Okay, everyone. So we'll start off with uh, the right foot. Uh, very long toenails, onychomycosis, um, dystrophy, thickness, pain, etc., etc., etc. Let's take a look at the left. Uh, also the same. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get the, the cat out of the back. Uh, and let's just talk a little bit about here. Patient had, because I know a lot of people will definitely ask. I know my people. Um, 2019 surgery. Uh, you guys can clearly see the difference between you know left and right. This is uh, excellent range of motion. I mean, it looks pristine. In respect to the left, there's not only shortening of the great toe, uh, tremendous amount of uh, you know scarring, scarring of the subcutaneous tissue. I mean, it's hard to explain in respect to what you guys are seeing over there, but this is all scarred down this fibrous tissue uh, the joint is completely locked the patient had uh what we call a total uh bunion a total, removal well it wasn't only a bunion removal they they placed uh, an entire implant in there right a total right right two, two piece right and for whatever reason and we'll just leave it sort of there um the his his body we it did not like it, right? Yeah, it rejected it. At all. Right. So there's and a lot of scar tissue that built up uh, around it. So the basic feeling of the skin is um, is kind of numb. It's kind of like when you go, you go to the dentist and you get Novocaine. It feels like that all the time. It's, it's Novocaine. Until I put on, uh, try to put on a regular shoe. Then there's tightness because it's, it's I normally wear a ten and a half. Uh, now I've got to go anywhere between uh, an 11 and 11 and a half in order to um, compensate for the swelling and the, and the enlargement of the foot. Yeah. And we, uh, we have already spoken about maybe some, some solutions. So right, we're right, addressing that right, as well for yeah. anyone out there. Doctors so give me some options. Right. So, you know, without further ado, you know, let's kind of get to work here. These are extremely brittle. These are really, really just mushy, right? Yeah. You know, he's um, he's had these nails like this for a very, very long time. Yeah, it's hard to get to them myself in order to do a really, really good job. Uh, the range of motion that I would have to demonstrate would make it kind of difficult to reach down and really do a good job to get them done. So that's why I'm coming to the doctor to have them done professionally. Don't hurt yourself, they're bullets. <laughs> well, you know, uh, Caesar here has a pair of blue blockers, <laughs> right? And he's not using them today, not sure why. You know, when he first got them, he was all gun ho about it, right? Oh, look, check this out, check this out. Look what I got, right? Now it's like, pfft. I think he, he probably enjoys getting hit by these things, I don't know. He's, he hasn't been using the blockers lately. Yeah, surprised you don't have goggles on, like in a wood shop. Oh, the work and metal work. Oh, Caesar, yeah. Like I said, I mean, I'm pretty surprised, Caesar. Why haven't you been using those? No oh, man, don't know. You don't know? They're only your eyes. No big deal, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm never I'm never able to get them that close on my own. Well, also and that's you, another reason why they're that long because when I cut them, you I'm just, basically just doing the tips. Exactly. Look at that. And also, you you've had previous surgery on your hip. Yeah. Has that affected the way that you also trim your toenails? Yeah, the, my range of motion is limited. Um, 
I'm pretty good. No pain, but it's not. It's never the same as it was before you had to get an artificial implant. Your range of motion is never the same. Exactly. Uh, this is this nail is completely, completely just lifted off. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this aggressively. Okay. Because if not, I I mean there is malodor underneath the nail. Yeah. Right. I can I can sort of sniff it. Okay. So when you're showering, all that moisture and all that water's seeping in underneath. Okay. And it's creating this uh, this flower-like. How can I describe it? It's like a flower-like concoction, right? Right. And what do I mean? Here, take a look at this. Look at this, people. Look at this. Here, for all you. For, there you go. For all you cottage cheese lovers. Look at this stuff. I know. Look at Caesar. Caesar's making this bizarre face. Why That's are you doing that? Why do... are you making that face, man? That's why I don't do pedicures in a regular salon. Achoo. Okay. You're going to leave here. Yeah, I can never get on that low. You're gonna outperform today at work. They're gonna give you a bonus, man. Yeah, I could never get up that low. Look at this. Look at the. You gave me a new word today, ladies and gentlemen. The letter of the the, the word wow. of the day is cottage cheese. <laughs> this is total surgery. We'll take it all the way to the back, but we won't go a lot more than this just to leave a template behind. Okay, there we go. Okay, super. Go to the other side. You lost a little bit of power there, Caesar. I guess that's a yes. We're putting together, we're going to do a couple of videos. It's going to actually be somewhat of a meditation, some meditation videos, put people to sleep. No talking, only music in the background. It's going to be great. go thank you and I want you guys to look at this I mean look at this this is all scar tissue from the previous surgery if I go kind of like this I can lift everything up here look in there Caesar yeah. it's like a lip it's like a lip it's like a lip over your over your toe kaboom You gotta be careful with the lip. Oh, I got him good. Sorry. You're fine. Be careful with the proximal skin there. Oh, 
You smell the moisture. Yeah, to the shower just one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> and I came in with clean underwear. That's what Mama said. <laughs> For a second, I thought maybe it was Caesar that. <laughs> Caesar, is that you? What? You got a big smile on your head. Did you shower today or? Me? Honestly? Are you, are you still using the same underwear? <laughs> you know, your mom always said you go to the doctor, make sure you got clean. I don't know what that is. You're not doing anything like that. Mama make didn't sure say, your underwear clean. My mama didn't say that. Did she just say that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mama. <laughs> oh, God. What day is it today? <laughs> oh, my God. How funny. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna bust them out too, huh? You came to the right place, man. Yeah, I see. No, it's been very informative. I made the right choice. Glad to hear. A little research may go a long way, right? Yeah, yeah. You okay this, either? Yeah. He needs like a... Like an oxygen tank. Go to the other side, Caesar. Da, 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 da. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to figure out the Jaws reference. The dietary. Okay. Everyone, I think the whole the whole world still wants to know that. Right, Caesar? Yes, sir. Jaws. So I guess, you know, the cat needs to, another cat needs to come out of another bag, right? <laughs> I'm thinking Jaws teeth. I'm thinking shark. I'm thinking shark fin. I'm thinking, what's that got to do with teeth? So Jaws, it's a four-letter word. It has a J, an A, a W, and an S. Right. The J, it's an acronym, ladies and gentlemen. It's an acronym for four words. Can you figure out two of them? Just at work. <laughs> Just at work, and then what about the S? How did you? Sometimes. <laughs> this patient is a hundred percent right. That is exactly the acronym. Just at Just work. Sometimes. sometimes. That's it. No, it's not. Okay. Um, Caesar, what do you think? Should we tell the world? Yeah. Why not, right? You have some loyal people out there, loyal followers. So we might as well just tell the whole world. So Jay is the name of my wife. 
the first letter. Her name is Jennifer. Okay. Now... Anison? No. What's no. my name? <laughs> An Anison? I'm thinking, what, she's just Anison? How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> this... <laughs> I love patients like this, right? So, what's my name? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't remember. That's how much this patient loves us. Abraham. Okay. What's my last name? Don't know it. Wagner. Jennifer Abraham Wagner and the yes? Success. Okay. In life. Okay. In general. That's what it means. Okay. Nothing to do with the fish. N nothing but to... But I see a shark fin. All right. Nothing to do, but it's there, yes. Okay. The patient already had a sublingual hematoma here. You guys can all see it there. So, for all of the world, for years, people have been asking me, What's with the jaws? J A W S. Got it. Jennifer Abraham Wagner and success. I like the Aniston. Jennifer. You know why? I'll tell you why. <laughs> you like the Aniston? I like Jennifer Aniston Wagner success. So you'd definitely be successful if you were married to Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, one of my one of my uh, I've always been a firm believer of the happy wife, happy life. Right. So I had no choice but to put in Jennifer's name in there, right? Right. I hope hopefully she won't see this video. Only another hundred and fifty five thousand people will. Okay. So that's why we did it. At least I left out of here without because I'm trying to I'm looking at it and I'm like, what's with the jaws? I know, right? It's nothing to do with it. It's not even a footprint. It's a shark tail. <laughs> it's not even, even a footprint. There it is. So I like the you like the Jennifer Anderson in the reference? I think that's cool. See, she's yeah. going. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, there you go. Phew. Anyways, uh, so let's, uh, let's take a great. look here. Everything, uh, we're all great. set, we're all done. Patient needs to go, uh, needs to go to work. Yeah. That's why we're sort of like keeping the ball rolling here. So anyways, um, they look good. They look good. The question is, do they feel good? Yeah. And they're going to feel even better when I see your guy. Oh, like yeah, I said, yeah, I was getting ready to go all the way to Atlanta and go ahead and it's done, but I'm going by your reference. Super. Excellent. Your recommendation. Excellent. Um, we will continue to do what we do. We're going to continue to educate the world that, what should we say this time? Hmm. These aren't people just fetishes? <laughs> did, a thir did a third cat, Caesar's laughing, did a third cat come out of this bag today? Because I mean, what? Why is this patient asking all the right questions? It's feet. Oh, this... It's feet. I mean, for and, all you people that like feet. I and mean... for all the... Dun, 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 dun. You got to, you no, got... Dr. Wagner does not have a foot fetish. But for all you people out there that like foot fetishes, then this is... That's one of the many... Yeah. A lot of people... Hey, Doc, do you have a foot fetish? Huh? Caesar, the question is, do you? No, I don't. No, you don't. What are you, Al Capone? <laughs> Anyways. Thank you, Doc. Okay, you're I very welcome. It. We will continue to do it. If you guys have liked this video, give us a like. Share it with all your friends, family, and whomever. And I want to take this opportunity to thank the patient for allowing us to do this. Yeah. This, is, this is a good one. Well, thank you. We had maybe maybe too much fun today. You know, maybe the Labor Day thing did us all a good thing. Yeah. Have a day. Uh, have a nice day, everyone.